think we should kind of open up our eyes. <laughs> I think that, you know, um, it's so interesting. I think it's, it's shocking to me that we are even arguing about climate change. To me, um, some things look so self-evident. Uh, it's so, you know, it's so clear to me, not that I even, not that I can point to, look at the ice caps over here and the glaciers, not that I even have all that information, but something is strange. Um, something is different. Things feel at some level out of control. And I think what's hard uh, for humanity is this notion of, can we just loosen our grip on the control that we're trying to have over? No, there is no climate change. Well, I mean, what? Why is that important to hold that? Well, you know, and, and you know, I guess just kind of as a, a person of faith, you know, um, there's a text, uh, a scripture that kind of just comes up when I think about climate change. Um, you know, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and we all who dwell therein. And so first of all, if I believe that uh, not only do I belong to God, do I believe that humanity belongs to God, but I believe the earth, you know, the planet, the universe um, belongs to God. And so um, can I kind of loosen my grip on the control I think I have, you know? And it, at the very least, you know, for we who, you know, don't have the, uh, the language, maybe I don't, I don't have much understanding about um, uh, climate change, I kind of look at a whole lot of Discovery tra Channel and I'm blown away by these documentaries I'm watching, but to, more than anything, I'm kind of crying out, you know, help us. And so to know that some people are not at the help us, but this is not real. How do you say that um, to, you know, the folk who just suffered down in New York and New Jersey? How do you, I don't, you know, you know, we don't, you know, hello, Katrina. What? what? Something, things that, I just kind of, me and my dad often talk about, you know, things, <laughs> things that never happened before are happening. And so, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dad, that's, that's true. And, but, you know, it, it is, it is, it is true. And, um, you know, um, when, you know, when I'm listening to meteorologists or just scientists talk about within the next hundred years, you know, the sea is going to rise however many feet. And, you know, and I think, I think sometimes I have to admit when I hear that, when they say the next hundred years, you know, we are, you know, I think that we are all humanity. We care about the future, but at some level, I don't know. When you say the next hundred years, what do we think sometimes? I mean, I've had just kind of one-on-one -on -one conversations. Oh, well, I won't be here. So it doesn't matter, you know, um, when who I would call God has given us the earth to, you know, to... Um, we're to be stewards, you know, and I know that's a bigger conversation because, you know, did God create the earth? You know, is you know, all I, I, so for me, the the, the conversation is not even about evolution and all those kinds of things, uh, uh, because uh, that's 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 bigger than what I'm thinking about here. But at some level, because of just kind of my beliefs, I think that whatever has occurred and however it did occur, that I think God had something to do with it. So.